Hello, dear viewers! Welcome to part 87 of Madness Project Nexus Arena Mode. We're continuing our Magiturge playthrough to the very end. That's right, we'll be seeing the true final ending on this here episode. But first, I'm gonna rob a bank. Then we can fight some robots. Unless, um... Unless we start fighting banks and robbing robots, which would be par for the course for this universe, all things considered. Not much has changed. I made this plastic wand shoot, uh, lightning instead of whatever it used to shoot. I think it was ice or something. No, it was the death beam. The death wand is now the... I mean, I mean, it's still a death wand because it kills people. It just fi fires lightning. And then I have this radiation wand that does a lot of damage. And then I just kind of always use the lightning one anyway because it kills stuff faster than the radiation one. That's besides the point. We're going into the heist. Loki, ready? Time for more war, Alec. I told you it was time. So I'm going to try something different with this episode where I cut the fluff, so to speak. I'm having a hard time figuring out what I mean, so I guess I'll just let you see from watching this part. Oh, we can go through the side door. Look at that. Leave a comment down below if you like this style better than what I was originally doing, where I would just let stuff ride. But beyond that, I guess I should say, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to, to like the subscribe button and uh, favorite the dislike for more comments. Hold on, I'm reading the script wrong. You're supposed to subscribe. Why would they do that? There's no notes underneath this thing that says tell people to subscribe. Why would I tell them? But like, also, the script says to tell people to hit the bell icon, but I feel like that would be counterintuitive because that would just flood their notifications with uploads from me rather than letting them go look for uploads on their own. You know? Then again, YouTube is Bork, so who knows? So, viewer. Yes, you, viewer. I would like to point out that I do streams on Twitch, and I'm going to try and do them on Monday, say, around uh, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at twitch.com slash gelinator. I don't know if that's going to be, like, an official thing, or it's just if I'm going to stream on Monday, that's the time it's going to happen. Holy crap. Did 8-Ball just, like, dive tackle that man into a clump next to some chairs? Right? Okay. Of course, all of you at home know exactly how this mission goes. Cops show up. I don't even know if these guys are actually cops or just peacekeepers or something along those lines. They show up, they get destroyed by you, and you gotta wait for the timer to expire. I'm now realizing that this would be the absolute best setup for getting all 53,000 kills if you're into grinding for that. I would like to point out the fact that more people have the achievement for killing 53,000 people than they've completed the story mode on Madness difficulty. People just sit here and kill people more than they played through the story, like, twice. Which is annoying as hell, actually, now that I think about it. Gates open. We're just gonna hit the button again. Tap. Tap. Everybody get in. It's like shooting fish in a barrel if I was using lightning. And the fish were walking towards me in a narrow hallway. Who's out here? Guys, come on. Chill. See, look, you can kind of tell who's who now. Weirdly enough, you can't color Morris's helmet. It's just stuck at that color. Like, gray or whatever. So I kind of get them confused with Poe. Their helmets are kind of the same color. Speaking of Poe... Hey, Poe, could you, like, open up all these, uh, lockers for me? Look, see? He's doing it! Wow! Oh, no, that's just a stun man. I thought someone was out there. Poe, come on, get the other two. Thank you. It's like he can hear me or something. Nah, I just queued up the actions off camera. Oh, he picked up a gun. God damn it. They don't want you to pick up a gun. Open open the thing with money. Well, we got less than a minute left, and I'd like to point out something. I might be a mage, but I don't know if you've noticed or not. I have 21 flashbang grenades. They're not fla I swear, they're actually a blinding spell. Look at that. These guys can't even see. Oh, God, he broke me out of the finisher. 
But it's crazy what, you know, telling people something is. It, the power of lying is amazing. The drill is being disabled. Uh-oh. Wait, we brought multiple souls? Because that said Vault Salt. Vault Salt 2. It's like Red Dead Redemption, except you're trapped inside a vault. It's the prequel to Fallout. If you heard that noise, that was the van picking up literally everything. Alright, here's something fun you can do at home, viewer. If you take this loot bag, you can actually throw it all the way up to the van. What I like to do is see how far away you can get and chuck it. See if you can get it in. I was able to do it once before. It's kind of hard because everyone's trying to kill you. They're basically goldens. You can throw money at people. It doesn't do any damage, but you can do it. I don't know why you would do it. This is like the weirdest game of soccer I've ever played. People shooting you from across the street. The other players are holding knives and stuff. It went in! Did you hear the, the ringing noise of the money? It went in! We did it! We scored it home down! Uh, a touch ball? I don't know, I don't play sports. Okay, like I said, Poe, you grab all the things off the walls, we'll cover you. Loki, you broke your thing. Take a huge hammer. Morris, you broke your thing too. Pick up the wise sword. Eight ball, you better be laying down that covering fire. Or you could stand there, I, I guess. So a strategy I employ while I'm busy waiting for the timer to go down and I can get to the next section of the vault is I just take all the loot bags out here by where the van shows up. Because when it shows up, it'll just automatically pick up all the bags that are sitting there. So hey, it's something to do. Loki's out here being, like, shot at by everyone. Someone's disabling my thing. I leave two of you here, and you can't defend it? Fine, I'll tell you all to stand right here. I accidentally told uh, Poe to pick up a gun. If you listen closely, you can actually hear the van still sitting around in the background. And look at that. Just like magic, the clock is almost out, and we'll be able to take our tokens. Now, a question I have is... Why are we robbing this bank? Like, it's a bank, make no mistake. But think about it this way. The description of this mission is that we're stealing these items because, what's his face? A weird plague doctor, Skaven man, outside of our base is like, I'll pay you handsomely for all the stuff you get. Uh, the problem is most of that stuff that is in the vault in the first place is money. The only things that we could possibly be getting from this that aren't straight money are the bags with the tokens in them. Which I imagine, for simplicity's sake, just are like, hey, you're getting a bag of tokens, like one token per bag, and that's how it works. Whereas the actual lore, we're probably stealing some kind of artifact or whatever. Who knows? I don't. And look at that. 15 minutes, 189 kills, and a first time bonus. Look at all that melee experience. I can learn zero skills with that. But hey, I got tons of ranged XP. That's useful, right? Okay, now for the news. I have actually already done this. As it turns out, OBS was not recording any in-game audio whatsoever. I have rectified that but I have to do all of this again, so stuff will be a slightly less surprise to me. Now the question is, when we get off this bus, do we still have to go to the right, or can we go to the left? You'd think if our character remembers literally everything, they'd remember that. But you gotta come over here, say hi to the pizza man. He's dead now. Look at my poster. Yeah, I still have that. I mean, I guess I could change all of these to be like memes or something about madness, it'd be funny. But all this is the same, you don't need to worry about it. We're the robots! The robots are new. I want you guys to see the robots. Now check out the robots. Wait for it. Wait for it. Look, see? It's a fire robot. Whenever he punches you, 
You're now on fire! That doesn't apply to his melee attacks, however. I guess it just kind of changes their behavior a little bit when they have melee weapons or guns, because they do that leaping attack, and they set you on fire should they not have any weapons. Shouldn't be a problem unless you're, uh, what, the experiment? Here we are again. Hello, sir. Look! They fixed it! You can't softlock yourself anymore. But what we can do... Betrayal. Yeah. And then break our own spine! I broke the space-time continuum last time because there are, like, two of these guys. Alas, I couldn't do it right this time. But I can kick him into the abyss this time! Oh. Okay. I messed that up royally. But look! Poison robots! I don't know what they do. I imagine they poison you. Who would have guessed? That was 23. Uh, um, <laughs> I don't know if you just heard the noise my character made. But look, there's a new giant robot too. It's a blue one. He's a lightning one. He drops a normal Roomba though, unfortunately. Oh god! That is not what I wanted to happen, but look, it's a Void Robot! I'm gonna mulch you! This thing runs on double A batteries! I took them out of the TV remote. Listen, all of you are gonna suffer. But seeing these robots, specifically this fr I guess it's an ice robot, gives me Luigi's Mansion vibes. The first one. You know how you needed a Medi- well, actually, maybe people don't know these days. Because everybody on the internet is all young, and the people who actually played those games are- like, actually grown up and doing stuff with their lives. Uh, unlike me. But that's besides the point. The robots are like the ghosts from Luigi's Mansion, where there were ice ones and fire ones, and there was, uh, another one, I think. I think there were three. I know there were three elements. There was water, fire, and ice. And you need a medallion to use them. And the ice robots remind me a lot of that ice medallion. Hey, buddy. Show me the machine. I'm gonna show you my lightning machine gun. And if the audio breaks again, screw it, you guys aren't getting any audio because I've done this too much. I've spent four hours on this, trying to fix just that, <laughs> let alone the editing. Who knows how long that's gonna take. But hey, I have my bootleg frozen coke here, or slurpee or whatever. Now watch this! I can turn this guy into Silly Buddy using nothing but the power of electricity. It's amazing what some batteries from, I don't know, some person's TV remote can do. Or I guess your Xbox controller. Do controllers even use batteries or are they all like wire charge? Like do wireless controllers still use batteries or do they have their own built-in batteries that you charge using like a, a charging wire or whatever? I don't know anymore. I just used a wire controller! Then I got this really cool red controller. This red Xbox controller. I think, all things considered, it's been a while since I looked this up, but I swear it was Jeff from Rooster Teeth. I forget his damn last name, but I remember way back in the day of like Achievement Hunter Let's Play videos. Specifically, I think he had a Xbox 360 controller. It was an Xbox 360 controller, just like mine. It was like a red one that had a battery pack on it that you could plug into the Xbox that would pretty much function like a wired controller while it charged. And that was the coolest thing ever. Like, I didn't notice this until I had the controller for two years. I just bought it because it was red, you know? That's how it be when you're a kid. Wow, you got a lucky punch in there, pal. But this fight is also the same, apart from the new robots. Which, I don't know if the robots are in it. this fight now for every origin, or if it's just for the Magic Turge. Because they're pretty cool. Not gonna lie, I like seeing all the variety and enemies and whatnot. That's why I install mods like... I think it's literally just called the Monster Mod for Skyrim and Fallout New Vegas, and then there's the mods that add all the new weapons and armor. Those are my favorite, because I like seeing tons of variety. 
Of course, I can understand from a gameplay standpoint why you wouldn't do that. Because it's the same reason why there's only really one gun of each type in a game like Half-Life 2. Half-Life 2 is a good example. Quite. You have a pistol that is like rapid fire single shots. Or it's less damage and more... Well, this interrupts my train of thought. Not. Long. Nevada. Four. Someone is playing golf out here, but they don't want to play Nevada for very long. Iceman is using a bot. Long rifle. Big rifle. Rifle bot gun. So that's new. Are we going to have to fight our way through here and they're just going to perpetually talk more and more shit? No? The blinding radiation of the sun because someone turned the sun setting up too high? Like, damn, look at these sun rays! The ray tracing is impeccable! So bright you can't see anything up here. And then you trip over an anthill and die horribly. Arena failure! I wish I could get those audio. Okay. What? No! The glitch didn't happen. What is this? Marshmallow rides. Cannoneers.script. I don't know if this is intentional. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Marshmallow rides. Like, talking to this guy, Cannoneer.script is his name. I sincerely, at this point in the series, do not know if that's intentional or not. But you can go over here and try and fight the Marshmallow. Look. Honestly, you can punch the Marshmallow and get milk out of it for some reason. Or you can hop into this cannon and shoot it with your body! Alright, here we go. Blast, chip off, uh, thwomps, fortress. screw it. Mario 64 reference. I have no idea what's happening. Stop. Abort. Readouts look good. We're ready to initiate the procedure. I finally get it. See, I don't think I'm having problems with my memory at all, Doc. I don't think I ever did. This man has no medical license. And you know why? It's because I don't think I have a pass before the moment I wake up in this chair. Look, I've woken up in this chair. It's more of a stretcher. I've been wondering why me ever since we started this thing. Why it's always back to this infernal chair. No sooner, no later. Stop it. Personal space! But you know, you've always known. But you know, you've always known. And now, so do I. You pulled me from the nowhere, didn't you? Right from the beginning. That's where you found me. And you regret your decision. Yes, I did. Why didn't you tell me in the first place? I thought we were into this together. Why withhold that from me? Look at the little mini ladder here. Because the one that helped me find you, that showed me how we could bridle the machine with your help, simply explaining their intent would compromise the mission. Well, explain it complexly then. The Maker, you had help from the Maker. Or the Mocker, which is what my mind wants to call it repeatedly for some reason. They have many names. See? Like I said. And now that I know, what happens? The Maker's intent is compromised? The machine wins? Well, I mean, we can delete System 32, and then the machine won't win. Or we can install Windows 98 on it, and then it will never win. I don't have an answer. I don't have that answer, and it doesn't change anything anyway. Our work is exactly the same as it ever has been. Let's prepare your imprint and see to our mission. Imprint me, baby! And there you have it! I guess that's the actual true ending of Arena Mode, unless they're planning to add more. Didn't they advertise that as, like, the final true ending of Arena Mode when they released the patch notes? It's like, see the actual final ending, or whatever. I don't know. Don't worry about returning to the void where you modify your wands, because nothing changes there, I've already checked it. You saw pretty much all that we got.
But with all that out of the way, that's the Magiturge origin. Done and done. So we can go back to pretending to be Jesus in our... Uh, I, it's not going to be our next one because it was the one we were doing before this update came out. So we're going to be resuming our previous one, I guess? I mean, I made a backup of the save file and all the data files, so don't worry about that. We can play it just fine. But it's about time we end episode 87, right? I don't know why I'm asking you. I'm the one in control here. Regardless, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you have a good rest of your day and take care. I'll catch you next time.